Discussing about week three. First of all, before we get to week three, it's always good to have some recap. And <laughs> I would love to have you guys join the conversation right now. Give me a moment. Uh, Denzel, go ahead and explain to me how week three went for you. Oh, man. Uh, I just, man, I, if anybody out there from Chicago, they know we got a lot of potholes. <laughs> And then, you know, if you play Call of Duty, you know, those IEDs and all of those, I just ran into everything, man. <laughs> I just ran into everything. But, you know, it is what it is, man. That's what, that's, that's why we do this, man, you know, to try to dodge those. Unfortunately, I couldn't dodge them. My week wasn't as good as I wanted to be. But it's always another week. That's why we're coming at you for week three. Absolutely, absolutely. Week three, I mean, week two was uh, quite an interesting one because um, the chalk plays were quite well, quite well. And um, this was one of the weeks where if you didn't really play the chalk players, then um, you were on the chalk, man. No, uh, yeah. Uh, it was it was, it was, was a few ways to get up there. and um, But uh, the, the chalk is playing on the boy. He, he stepped up and... He, he outdone everybody else, which was Tom Brady. And then um, a couple of he, – he added that to the, uh, his other two chalky teammates. And uh, will you after that, when you get to all that chalk, you get a chalk board. <laughs> Absolutely. And I've seen that you guys are coming in and joining us in the comment section. We love that. Make sure you guys go and check out Denzel's and my YouTube channels. Make sure you like and subscribe where the conversation continues more in details. As you guys know, this podcast, we try to make it simple so that we can make your decision process simple, too, because it's quite overwhelming with all the information that we got. All right. all right, right off the bat, I see you, Terrence. I see you, Terrence. I, I see you, Terrence. I see you, man. I see you, man. That, that, that defense, hey. Yeah. yeah. Hey, right. <laughs> We're going to talk about that in a bit. Before we talk about that, before we talk about that. Hey, though, yeah, I, yes, think, I, think they, I don't think they completely uh, burned you. Hey, Viv, how you doing? I don't, I don't, I don't think they completely burnt you, though, man. Yeah. I, I, I seriously don't. But what I did was I made this one. Uh, I made when Bradford was out, I made the switch to um, the Steelers D. So uh, they didn't do as well as I thought they was either, man. Great I'm trying play. to find. I, I, like I like that play. Yeah. I immediately took out Diggs and Thelian the moment I heard that Bradford wasn't playing. Right. Uh, but uh, David, big shout out to you, David, for saying hello right away. And we got Terrence, we got Albert, and we got Vivian. Vivian, fantastic, man. We got the ladies joining on board. First of all, we'd like to give you guys a recap of how we did in week two. These are our top lineups in FanDuel, okay? FanDuel-wise, here they are. And uh, I'll go first this time. Can you believe it? My top lineup had Derek Carr. Yes, I had Derek Carr, Kareem Hunt, Ty Montgomery, Brandon Cooks, Michael Crabtree, J.J. Nelson, Rob Gronkowski, Kai Forbath, and Jacksonville Jaguars. Big disappointment. I really thought that Jacksonville was going to be able to inspired me like how they did against Houston that they were for reals because man to get that many sacks in one game is pretty difficult but, Ooh, the defense that's bad that hurt you yeah it sure did <laughs> and yeah, it cooks too but uh, it is what it is go ahead and uh, explain yours Denzel um, just a mediocre performance of the overall I sat at, you know I had Palmer and uh I just been looking for fits, and he's just been, I don't know, man. He's been missing in action. But I had Hunt. You know, he was chalky. And uh, Montgomery Hill, he didn't do so well. Um, yeah, like I said, Fitz didn't do so well. Julio didn't do what I expected. Ertz, he was high. He didn't get in the end zone. Uh, Bryant, someone I was really high on, 
uh, my kicker and the Chiefs. What I did with that uh, with that lineup, I went with the um, the Hunt, the Hill, and the, and the Kansas City defense stack. Uh, man, mainly because I felt like Hill he didn't offset it because he he, he always can take a take take a take a take a kick a, a kick return or a punt return to the house, and that coincides with the, um, with the defense. So. Uh, and, and how versatile Hunt has been, he's still living up to expectations. So I went on red and triple stacked those guys. Awesome. That wasn't a wasn't a bad game plan because I had that too with Palmer. And uh, I was surprised how difficult the Colts defense was giving Palmer. You know, I must I must um, trouble. Yeah, and, and he actually went to overtime too, which was to me uh, unbelievable, unbelievable, and. Uh, I felt like they deserved that loss, but uh, you know that that pick at the end uh, in the overtime, uh, you know, helped help Palmer save uh, save Harry's career, his uh, starting role for the meantime. I, I was really starting to see that they probably might throw Blaine Gabbert in, but it is what it is. I didn't get to see Fitzgerald really make much of of, of uh, that secondary, um, but well, we did see J.J. Nelson get a good. Uh, Yeah, nice. Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, nice showing. Yeah. But uh, on to week three. But let's go back to the comment section. And see, that we got more. So Vivian says, "I'm good, but unfortunately, I didn't do so good, and I do much better this week." No, take that back. I'll be great this week. That's what I'm talking about. I know Viv. I know Viv. I know Viv. <laughs> That's what's up. Freddie Soto says that Will Funchies be a good play. All right. Well, we're going to answer these real quick. We want to first give you guys our top 10 picks, starting off with the quarterbacks. Denzel, I'll let you go with number one. Who do you have for your quarterback this week? Um, I'm going out. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sort of like a hybrid player, man. So, you know, all the guys out there, you know. But – I'm going with Cam Newton, man. I'm going with Cam Newton. I'm looking for Cam Newton to uh, be a little bit better than he's been. Uh, look like Olsen, he'll be out. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at Cam Newton this week against those Saints. Yeah, that's going to be an incredible game, knowing that that game is going to be one of the top over-unders this week, according to the Vegas spreads. That's going to be a 50 over-under. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 47 over and under, and they actually have the spread by Carolina. I mean, Carolina by six. Because uh, we're kind of disappointed with Breeze, man. We, what happened to Breeze, man? Breeze is breezing <laughs> by now, and it's. I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of sad by it because Breeze is this guy. And when I know he's at home, he's on a whole different zone that will just like. He, he he he's unstoppable when he's at home and and uh, I don't know if it's just his O line well, or it's probably a combination of things you know you they they don't have cooks right now and uh, you know they're trying to fill it out figure it out you know they got excuse me they got Michael Thomas he's the big boy on the outside and uh, Fleener he's you know, the last couple of years, he, Flynn has been, you know, borderline, borderline. And, uh, you know, it, 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 right now, like I said, they, they, they got to get their personnel together, you know. But fantasy purposes and the way the week went last week, I had him from, you know, from my, from my, uh, my top quarterback. He did give me 20, man. Out of the circumstances of how uh, week two went, so I can't be mad at that. I don't care if it was garbage time or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my QB for this week. Drum roll, probably no. Boom, 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 boom. Is going to be Marcus <laughs> Mariota, guys. I like, uh. I like Marcus Mariota this week, guys. Marcus Mariota. Mm. Uh, he is, uh, let's see, he's going against Seattle, and uh, we saw what the 49ers did. We almost won. 
<laughs> Seattle's really struggling now that they don't have a solid run game. Um, not a solid, uh, a solid receiving core. Uh, no, okay, let me take that all back. Let me take that all back. They don't have a solid O line. Russell Wilson is doing whatever he can to extend the play. Thank goodness he has that ability to extend the play. But as you can, as you saw over the weekend, it wasn't good enough too. He was getting he got a couple sacks on him. And he, I'm telling you, go ahead. Yeah, and he barely he barely got through with it. Uh, anyhow, uh, digressing. Marcus Mariota. I like Mariota against that CEO. And Mariota did fantastic this weekend. Um, it's kind of on and off. Uh, I like Mariota this way this week as my top quarterback. He's priced nice at seventy five hundred. Mm-hmm. Um. One of the second tier QBs, I think that will, will, uh, will pay dividends. Um, nice. On to the next one, running back. Who do you got for your running back? I'm staring down the barrel of. Uh, Jay Ajayi, man, I'm looking at him hard, man. I'm looking at him hard. I think I think he's gonna be somebody that's gonna be in my lineup. One of not probably not my top because it's very early. He might not be my top, but he, I'm definitely gonna have some. Yeah. Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi. Uh, Jay. <laughs> Those memes are pretty mean, man. When I was reading about the Dolphins, they said, <laughs> "Be what is it? Be be uh uh." uh be scared for Miami, not for the hurricane, but because <laughs> Jay Cutler is yeah. the for the Dolphins. <laughs> Jay, Jay. Man, the internet is mean, man. <laughs> Jay Cutler. They, really they, really <laughs> they, they put, they put, they put Philip Bruce down that fourth quarter clutch, and he couldn't do it. I mean, well, they, well, they iced the kick, right? I think that's not what happened. I think mm-hmm. they iced the kick. With that timeout, and he did the kick again. It was no good, and it was over. His bomb ass, Jay Jay Cutler. Nah, though he, he has some nice hookups, man. Yeah, I'm looking. He got, he got some weapons. You know, he got oh, probably yeah. more weapons than he had in Chicago. I mean, I ain't got no problem with Jay, man. I, I I rooted for him. You know, me being from Chicago, I rooted for him a lot, and um, I ain't got no problem with him. But Jay Ajayi, that's why I'm, that's why that's 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 where I'm going. I think I think it's a complete gamble, but I'm just liking this rookie so much, guys. I like him, man, and it's no other than Kareem Hunt going against uh, San Diego Chargers this week. Last week it kind of looked like it wasn't going to happen again. Repeat someone being able to put up that much point and then being trying to be consistent with that, but um, they did, and they did it with a pretty solid defense too, which was the Eagles. And uh, I have a feeling in this division game, look for um, look for at least two touchdowns. Kareem Hunt, I like that just because of uh, his versatility, him being able to be a slot receiver and being able to run the ball uh, with that triple option that they're playing that I'm seeing they're using heavily. It's either going to Kels, it's either going to Hill, or it's going to Hunt. Usually goes to Kels, as we've seen. It went to Kels, and he leaped over that one defender and got. Ooh, it. that was nasty. That was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. <laughs> What's with, with the leaping too? This week they were leaping a lot, man. Mm. Uh, that's my. And then uh, now on to the wide receiver position, guys. Benzel, who you got for your top wide receiver for this week? Oh, uh, none other than Mr. Disappointment himself. Uh, it's going to be a stack it up. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin, man. Um, Kelvin Benjamin. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know you got uh, uh, the tight end. What's Olsen? Yeah. I know he's out. And, uh, um, I just think he needs to step up, man, That's big right. time. Man. Absolutely right. He owes me money. He knows lots of us money <laughs> up. Uh, you know, you got Devin Funches on the other side, and uh, um, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind to play the targets. Last week, the targets were there for him, uh, but I'm going with, uh, I'm going with uh, 
whatever his fucking name is, he did uh, Kelvin Benjamin. <laughs> so I'm gonna stack him and Cam, and hope hopefully he he, he takes advantage. Yeah. You know, of the oh, matchup. That dark, that that very disappointing Saints defense, as uh, Terrence Wilkerson said, defense is the blame. It's not Bree's fault. Who's uh, what did? Uh, is that Freddie that said it? Freddie, so it says, not Bree's fault. I blame the defense. And it is the defense. The defense was a great way to boost Tom Brady's confidence back, to get the Madden curse off of him. Uh, uh, but with that said, okay, my wide receiver for this week uh, at number six. Oh, this one's tough, guys. This one's tough. But I think... Uh, this is going to be a good game for him, and that is Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, it's hard to say this. This is tough. This is tough to say. I, I've seen what Dallas and Denver went through. I mean, what Denver did to Dallas, and uh, that secondary group is just uh, somewhere else right now. I know Palmer is not really the QB that, that was – once was a couple, couple years ago, a couple of seasons ago, but uh, he's due, man. He's due, especially after last week when I believe uh, those drop those drop passes should have should have gone to him. Uh, wide receiver this week. Ooh, that boy, he owes some money too, man. <laughs> he's, he, man. Yeah, look. <laughs> Stuff some lineups last week. God damn, two weeks in a row, man. Hey, it is what it is, though. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I know it's a Monday night game. Um, I like him during primetime games. I don't know if that makes a difference, but uh, this is my superstition trying to just, just have some wishful hoping, uh, wishful thinking here. Hoping on. Yeah. Yeah, Terrence. Yeah, Terrence, man. I, I had him. I had him. I, I had him in one. I had him in one lineup, man. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I had him stacked. I had. I had him stacked with uh, Grunt, but yeah, I didn't. It didn't. My line. The rest of my lineup didn't. Do, I had a couple landmines in it though. Jordan Nelsons and 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 uh, Fitzgeralds and things like that. So it didn't pan out. <laughs> Where is Jersey? Actually, this is my boy Alex Smith, man. <laughs> but this is his number. Love it. <laughs> uh, to Car to Carlo and then uh, uh, who we, who do we have on top of that? Eric said Eric Dobbins said Sam Watkins this week. Sam Watkins. Sam with the he's with the Rams now, huh? With the Rams, yeah, he with the Rams. I haven't heard a noise from him yet. Maybe it might be the week. It's still so early. It's so early, and though we feel like it's probably been couple of games I mean probably been more than more than a couple of games in start feeling the statistics start feeling the groove of where this momentum of 2017 NFL season is going but uh, it is very early we uh, there was there was a bunch of uh, upsets this week too like the Cardinals just having a hard time playing against the Colts um, okay different QB it was Brissett this time one of the boys all right, so next pick, guys. Tight end position. Tight end, as I think that's number seven. <coughs> Denzel, who do you got for your tight end this week, sir? Oh, man. I mean, I was iffy on the tight end position. I couldn't really nail it down. I'm not even going to lie. Like I said, it's still early. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking hard at um, looking hard at Ertz, man. You know, going up against those. Going up against those uh, Giants, I, I, I think um, I think Ertz. It's gonna be a chippy game right here, uh, good, but I do like I do like Ertz. I do like Ertz in this one. Ertz is great. Ertz is great. He's been consistent. He, yeah, eight to ten targets. In first week one, he had eight targets. Uh, uh, week two, he had ten targets. He's had double digits. He 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 had double digit points and you know on Fanduel in both games so I'm just looking for the for that trend trend to go upwards and for him to get in the end zone this week he he doesn't even have a touchdown so let's make it happen absolutely uh, with uh, my pick this week of the tight end position it's going to correlate with my first pick which was 
uh, Marcus Mariota. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going with Delaney Walker this week. Cash Hooper. <laughs> 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 Hooper's great too, man. <laughs> you know, that's my problem. I, I just have a hard time giving these new new names uh, love, man. I remember when Wentz came out uh, like a year. I'm like, Wentz is not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. And they were winning. They were winning. Yeah. They were winning great, too. And I, I just I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, no, Eagles is nothing without uh, Eric Reed. And they were winning. And their defense was solid. Mm-hmm. But I got Delaney Walker this week against Seattle. Uh, uh, with... With the receiving core, I think they're gonna have their defense. Their defense is gonna have their handful with, with everybody they have on that, that side right now. Knowing that everyone, uh, we got a, they got a mobile QB. Uh, they got first of all, they got uh, uh, I don't even uh, will he will he be playing uh, Demarco Murray? I think he is. Uh, I know he's. I know he has a slight injury. Most like, if it's like most likely he'll he'll probably be playing, but that's something we got to keep an eye on. Yeah, he got a hamstring injury. Okay. Thought on Green, GB Bennett. Will he and Rogers finally get going? Carlo. Okay. Well, we're gonna answer that question after we give the top ten. Uh, the last uh, with his last two picks, we'll go quickly. Uh, we got uh, at number nine. Uh, it's your top defense this week. Well. Um, I don't last going back to week two, man. I don't know why I didn't have Tampa Bay against the Bears. I mean, it's just self it's self explanatory. I missed that one, but uh, fresh, healthy Bears. I, I almost want to go, go the Steelers, mm -hmm. I like them as well. But if it ain't broke, I'm not gonna fix it, man. They look stout. I don't mind paying up for defenses, and I'll go to the top of the board and. Check out those Denver Broncos, man. Awesome. Denver Broncos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What they did to Dallas was embarrassing. They made it look like what's-his-name was playing again. Romo. Romo was playing again, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Baby. Look, it just, I just felt so sad. I had a lot of Ezekiel Elliott that game, too. And man. I mean, I don't know if I mean, people can. That's the one place. That's the one place I feel like you you can attack them at. Maybe, maybe, maybe not the the pound though, man. Maybe you need a versatile running back. You know, do a little catching and, and all of that to get the get the offense going. But man, Ezekiel is just just man, man, man. Mm, mm, mm. He 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 burnt my lineups up. I, mean, I want to blame. I want to. I kind of want to blame the whole hour. The whole hour delay, but hey, they just they just got beat, man. Fair and square. Do I think? Do I think it was a bad play? In the back of my head, yeah. But I just know that uh, you know. I know. I know that running backs have had success against them. So that's that was my reasoning, you know, for 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 Zeke. I, you know, we're gonna make funeral arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, guys. Lastly, my last, the last pick, defense. Uh, someone already gave it out in the group, and that is uh, is a Jarrell Turner. Ravens defense. I I like what the Ravens defense is doing. They're kind of quiet with the defense side uh, on their defense side right now. Um, they did a phenomenal job in week one against the Bengals, and um, la uh, last week uh, they did a they did a pretty good job against two against the Browns, and this week uh, who are they going up against? Uh, Jacksonville. Blake Bortles, something different about that guy now. Uh, he was phenomenal his his uh, his rookie season when he had Allen uh, Robinson and Hearns together on the same page, and. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this year, it looks like uh, this might be just garbage time years. Because I'm kind of disappointed. I'm disappointed what Blake Burrow has been able to do. 
Um, but I do like what the Ravens defense is doing right now. And uh, it seems like the Ravens defense is doing a phenomenal job keeping the team afloat with, uh, is it Terrell Suggs? Yeah. He's leading that team now. I enjoy it a lot. Yep. I enjoy it a lot. I, I, I see his, he's the heart of the team, man. Heart of the team, especially that defense. Being able to carry on what uh, is it, Ray Lewis? Ray Lewis's spirit. Yep. So that's our top ten. So in this next uh, next segment of ours, guys, it's the tips, tips to help you guys become better DFS players. <coughs> All right. Okay. I don't know if I said this last week, but I fell on my own. I fell on my own trap last week. And that was I was in the twenty dollar million dollar line uh, million dollar uh, GPP on DraftKings, and my problem was I did not choose any players after one p.m. I saw one hundred dollars go down to eighty, sixty, forty, thirty. <laughs> 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 Put all them eggs in one basket, and exactly. you know. do not put all your eggs in one basket. Perfectly said. I did that, and I paid the price. So if you see that your lineups don't have anybody after, you better just choose that slate. Okay. Um, what I want to tell y'all, man, is uh, football is different than DFS. You know, different than NBA and sh shit like that. Um. Don't, don't be afraid to play the chalk, man. Mm -hmm. Especially in the NFL, play the chalk, play it, man, play it, play the chalk, man. You go back and you look if you like if you played that seven dollar. Uh, let me go back to that lineup, that million. Let me let me let me let me read this off to you guys. Yeah, I'll bring it up too. I'll bring it up too. Go ahead, bring it up, man. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up. That million dollar lineup. And uh, just see. meditate on this for a second. <laughs> meditate. Meditate. Well, transaction history. Let's go to million dollar lineup. All right. Okay. All right. that bigger for you guys right there okay number one Tom Brady chalk <laughs> Devontae Freedom Freeman easily chalk we gonna skip past Ty Montgomery I, I don't even have to say nothing about him he's just chalk board he should have been higher owned than 28 um Hogan he was Basically, chalk. I mean, chalk too because of what and the whole wide receiver core going out. Yeah. yeah. And now, Michael Crabtree. I'm just gonna. I mean, if you played DFS last <clears throat> last year, you know um, when it comes to the red zone, him and uh, Carr they hook up. They hook up. So and then Nelson. He was chalk. I mean, he was low on. I mean, he's a, you know, he was low. He's a guy that you could, you know, easily look over. But with the injuries to the, you know, to the Rivers, uh, yeah. Rivers, I mean, it was Brown injuries in time. Arizona, and injuries in Arizona, he, he was bound to do, do, you know, do something. And then you have Rob, Rob Gronkowski. Talk. And then you have, uh, I'm going to skip Santos. Uh, I'm going to skip the kicker because, you know, the kicker is the oh, kicker, but. The Baltimore Ravens, they've been doing it, doing it out, you know, ever since week one. So, I mean, that lineup, it wasn't nothing sexy about that. He got three guys over AK in there, and um, he did that, you know. I like the lineup. Just, I'm disappointed. Man, you just like, oh, just, that's it? Just, I had to choose that? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. That's a million dollars so, right there? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, man. And another thing, and another thing before before we get off the segment. If you plan money, if you if you if you plan and you know you 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 if you plan and uh if you lose and then you have to cry about it for financial reasons or something like that, um you, you're on the edge because you got it all because you risked it all. <laughs> You know, don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. You know, if you lose, you should. It should be. You should be able to. You should not even feel it. Feel it, man. In your pockets, man. You know, financially. Financially, you shouldn't even feel it. If you lose, you know, that's what make it. That's what make it fun, man. Uh, uh, you're doing it like I just explained, man. Then you know, you you you're gambling. Yeah. So uh, be responsible. Be responsible. Please be responsible. Exactly. Play. If you haven't learned the first one of the top rules of uh, DFS when you're playing DFS to have a bankroll, you know, uh, act your wage, man. If you can't afford to be making these big, big plays, don't do it, man. Just, just play according to your wage. If your wage only allows you to do five to ten dollars a week, then just do the five to ten dollars a week. You're at least you're part of the show. All right. All right. Um, it's difficult. I know. It's urgent. It's a. It's a. It's, it's it's a it's a difficult urge to pull back from, it, but you got to do it, or else uh, you're gonna have one of those uh, long nights and long weeks and long days. And uh, I tell you, it's better to only have play five to ten dollars and have the shorter days. All right, guys. And uh, with that, we're gonna move on to the questions now. So please join us in the comment section. Leave your comments down below. We have a lot of them. What do we think about Devontae Parker this week, Vivian? I like him, Viv. I like him, Viv. I like him. I like him, Viv. I liked him last week. I liked Devontae last week. I think I was watching. I was watching that game. If I'm not mistaken, I think he dropped one near the end zone or no, no. He he made a nice stack. He could have got a touchdown off that play. I had had my shares of him, and I know. Cutler likes those uh, lengthy receivers, so I definitely like Parker. I like Parker, too, just because we know the Jets is just... Something's going on with that organization right now. They're just, they're just like my 49ers. Right? They're just trying to, they, trying, they, to and try, then, trying to find their image right now, you know? I got one more thing. Uh, with, like teams like that, man, they packing it up already. You know? <laughs> Damn! Beat, beat up on the ass. Beat up on the ass. They're packing up. They're packing out. They, they, they cannot be going for nothing but number one with doing with that lineup. So just go ahead and cram on them, man. We making we, we man. We don't want to be a part. We don't want to pick guys from those old man. They they act like they want to bow down. Get a piece of them. Yep. And just stomp on them. That's my opinion about that. Those weak teams that act like they want to fold already. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. They're sending their lineup out there, man. You know, they're rebuilding, man. Help them rebuild. Absolutely. Uh, we got, uh, is it uh, Isaac? Huh? Isaac? Is it Isaac or Isaac Garcia? You guys think Brady will have the same, will have the same this week? Yeah, I think so, man. They're playing at home against Houston. Uh, he, he, he. I don't know. I mean, this is a tough D. You know, Brady. He don't like to. He don't like to get knocked down, man. But they might get back there and knock him down or whatever. But I mean, Brady is Brady, man. I, I really. I'm, the game plan for it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I like it. I like it this way. If uh, I think Gronk got another groin injury. If he gets out of that, uh, he will be a major factor just because he draws a lot of attention, which will spread the field pretty well for his other receivers. <laughs> and uh, we know how well Tom Brady, he's like, he has the Midas touch in making regular receivers become elite receivers, so, or look like elite receivers. So, uh, I, I, like, I like Brady again this week. Uh, Terrence says again, will you guys have another segment before Sunday? We might. Uh, you gotta, you first of all, you gotta subscribe to Denzel's channel. He has plenty of segments after this segment where he goes down in more details because we only like to break it down simply here, uh, just to give you the uh, 
the surface of everything if you guys want everything in depth my man Denzel will give you guys the tools along the way I'm, def uh, I'm definitely going to try to put something out my schedule is like super duper crazy right now but I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going to put it together I'm going to put something together you know I'm going to try to come with you know some I'm going to try to come with something but most importantly I need to try to get some line I hate to give out I hate to do lineups man I hate to do lineups, but I got to put them out there. I got to put them out there. Yeah. Oh, next person, Kim. Is it Kim Tao? Need you win? I see you. She always, yeah, you was like what that, third, third place? Yeah, if that's a woman or a lady, she's always mingling around with something, man. <laughs> I see it. Best kicker this week. It's gonna be your kicker, man, that you have left over. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right. So show us the results on Thursday night. All right. I want to see you. Raising the roof, baby. All right. Okay. And then uh, any other questions? I think we saw something earlier that says um, uh, we had someone who asked us about creating a chalk lineup. I think I've seen it somewhere. Uh, it's gone now. I don't know if it got deleted. But it's, they asked us if. Can we? Oh, okay, Terrence. So Terrence says, "Can we give a chalk lineup before we go? Why not? Let's go. I'll do one right now. Okay, and I'll play this next week. Next week, I'll reveal this. Okay, remind me, guys. Okay, we'll play a chalk lineup in the million dollar entry. Okay, we'll enter a new lineup. Uh, oh, actually, oh, you guys can't see it. I apologize." We'll go. We'll go pick for pick. Pick for pick. And we'll get it together real right. fast. Talk line of million dollar. First off, let's go ahead and choose the quarterback position. Like I said, I really like uh, Mariota this week, so I'm gonna go with Mariota. And then. And you, and you might as well throw uh, uh, the tight end in there. Yep. Right with him. Running back position, I said I like Kareem Hunt. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. You gotta get the value play. Caffrey, Caffrey against the Saints. Mm. All right. Wide receivers. Now I'm gonna have to try to budget this out. Okay. I uh, first of all would like to have a late night hammer. It's between between one of these two for sure. But the low ownership GPP will be roll prior maybe no now that I said it's not because everyone's gonna know about it but I like prouder with his hands prior with his hands on me all right um, another great place to choose the wide receiver position is going to come from the shootouts guys gotta be one of these two concussion huh is he gonna come out of that? Hogan got to be man. They got yeah. Everybody injured on this side, man. So it's Cooks a good play. It's 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 so early. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if Amendola's back. He might be ready though. I like. Uh, I know Tegan failed last year. He's going against. This is just because he's going against Carolina's old team. I'm just gonna throw that in there, guys. Uh, defense wise, I said I like the Ravens. We're gonna, uh, oh no, Ravens don't. Uh, is Ravens in this lineup? I don't think they are. I think they're in the they're in the Monday slate. Is that right? Let me oh yeah, right. and at the top because shit, they've been balling. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. With that being said, next person on my list. Uh. You know what? I like the Chiefs guys. I like the Chiefs defense a lot, man. Uh, going against the Chargers, Marcus Peter, that whole secondary. I'm expecting to have them air it out like crazy. Uh, expect some picks. Kansas City, let's see. Kickers, I always, whenever I do my, my, my kicker pick, guys, it's either this game or the cheapest. And I think this might be a safe play to just throw in. Uh, I can't even pronounce his name. Is it, uh, is it Giorgio? Or is it a silent, is it a silent G? We know what you mean. We know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That leaves me 8,700 left for my wide receiver. Quite, quite high salary. Whew, Mike Evans. I like Mike Evans too. So if you guys get that problem, whatever you have money left, whatever's the top you want to go with it. Usually that's a, uh, usually that's a, a, a big trap for yourself. Uh, since I got uh, Mariota, uh, let's see. I want to look at the top wide receiver that I think will do well. Let's look at. Uh, I'm going to go with what Denzel said on the chalk play, too, which is Kelvin Benjamin. Where are you, sir? He ain't so much as chalk. <clears throat> Benjamin ain't so much as chalk. He's just do. I, I, I think he can. I think he can do it. He's a high, it's a it's, it's a hybrid pick. Not even hybrid. It's it's more like a <laughs> man. That's a damn damn. The way he been playing, he's a GPP pick, man. So twenty one hundred left over. Is that a big problem? It might be uh, for for your whole lineup. Yep. Ted. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think you can get Gian. Gian, Gian can. <laughs> Gian can get all I out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. It's Gian again. Gian get out there and go crazy. And I, I, it was on me. Let's go ahead and throw a super in there. All right. That's it. I'm gonna leave this at, as it's not gonna overthink it, guys. Here it is Marcus Mariota, Kareem Hunt, Christian McCaffrey, Terrell Pryor, Amari Cooper, Calvin Benjamin, Delaney Walker. And Giorgio with Kansas City Chiefs defense. Boom. Done. Enter. And it's in. Check out how this will do next week. All right, guys. So it's in. Million dollar lineup. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. It's okay. Don't wonder if we had any more questions that came through while we were making that lineup. And Tony Brown, huh? Is that what you're saying, Terrence? Shit. Against the Bears, shit. Play the fans. You can play the fans, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make another lineup for that one. Stack with... Uh, now, they're playing at they're playing at Chicago. Uh, it's, it's tough, man. I always have a hard time with Brown leading. When Brown's at home, man, he he hugs the pole, man. He hugs that pole. He, hold, he hugs that goal line pole. And, uh, and I, I, I just have... Bad things when he's when he's away. I, although I do know that he does a great job away in away games too. But um, I'm not gonna. Uh, that's still a fantastic, uh, fantastic play to play this week, especially against the Bears. No disrespect, Denzel. Oh, man, go ahead, let it ride, man. Um. Anything else? I think we're before we we're before we get out, before we get out of here. Uh, I want to, you know, send you guys a shout out, man. You know, you guys jump in the comments and, you know, we ask the questions the best we can. And, uh, you know, I'm glad you guys, you know, I hope you guys appreciate it because we appreciate it, you know. So uh, that's, you know, that's why I'm at with that. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, the, you know, the participation and support. And um, I got I can't I can't leave I can't I can't forget about my YouTube channel. Those guys have been awesome, man. Uh, last video they just been firing away with questions, Thank you. and I've been I've been hitting them, you know, with very nice answers. And uh, thank you guys, man. Shout out to I'm send some shout outs to uh, James Cook on my YouTube. He he commented. Uh, um. <laughs> Most wanted, most wanted, uh, Dap. He said, "What GPP tight end you, you like this week?" I hit him with the Kelsey lick, and uh, it's a couple more questions, man. Um, shout out to uh, Matthew Conacher, uh, Jasmine Chatter, and Gino Soko. So you guys, you guys, you know, you guys, you know, you guys, man, you guys rock, man. Absolutely. So James Cook. My he says, just tell him. right. And then you can check the answers. I mean, I gave out some pretty nice answers too, if, if you guys 
really, you know, uh, you know, some of the picks I gave out last week, you know, even, you know, on, on the channel, they were very nice. He said, what's GPP tight end that I like? You can go up, up one. I said, most one, Kels for GPP, and he was the top GPP. And he was on end. point. And um, I gave him my information, my, how I felt about uh, Cohen and Kerwin Williams. Pretty much, it was pretty nice, <laughs> pretty, pretty yeah, on point. about Williams, man. Williams really disappointed the crap out of me, too, man. But, all right, now that so, already moving on. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to jump. You know, jump over to the channel and uh, you know shoot a question there, because I can't be I can't be in the group like I used to. Like it's like <laughs> schedule is so hectic, and you know for Ming as as well. So you know, um, yeah. you know we, we 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 started this Facebook group with the end in mind of just being able to create a fantastic experience with DFS and uh, we've had we've had uh, we had wonderful seasons for the last couple of days and this season has been really exciting because now we actually have this kind of platform to actually be able to talk with you guys too with uh, our busy lives as we know life life is about uh, getting busy or or busy trying to get it <laughs> yeah so you're busy trying to get it so uh, um, Lastly, again, make sure to like, subscribe to our channels. Uh, we got one more question I see right there. Donovan Brooks, we're going to answer you real quick. Do y'all think C.J. Anderson can exploit the Buffalo defense? And I have to say, yes. Yes. Siemens out there playing <laughs> real good. He looked real again, good against them. Against them yeah, yeah, dogs. man. Look at the dogs, Cowboys. He looked fantastic, yeah. man. Man, I don't know if it's the secondary or what, but man, he looked he looked pretty good. San, Sanders was a guy that I liked, and uh, you know he showed up as well. Absolutely. Well, we are here in our time. Thank you guys again. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel again one more time. Subscribe, like, and thank you guys for joining us tonight. We appreciate it, and hopefully you guys do a fantastic, uh, do fantastic. I'm sorry, in week three. All right. And with that being said. We'll see you guys soon, all right?